वेलकम टू जेके मोजू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एवरेजेस पार्ट वन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवरेजेस एंड देन वी आर गोनो सी सम वेरी गुड वेरियंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ एरेथमेटिक एंड वी शेल बिगिन विद द बेसिक्स ऑन एवरेजेस सो बेसिकली वॉट इज एन एवरेज एवरेज इज डिफाइंड एज द रेशियो ऑफ सम ऑफ ऑल टर्म्स इन अ ग्रुप टू द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन द ग्रुप और राइट सो बेसिकली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू समिट अप एवरेज इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑल क्वान्टिटीज और राइट सम ऑफ ऑल क्वान्टिटीज अपॉन टोटल नंबर ऑफ दस क्वान्टिटीज और राइट सो वॉट आर द बेसिक एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस एवरेजेस इट कैन बी अप्लाइड इन टाइम स्पीड डिस्टेंस वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग योर एवरेज स्पीड और राइट फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग मार्क्स देन वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ अ क्लास और राइट सो लेट सपोज वी हैव टू बैचेस इन अ क्लास और राइट देर इज दिस क्लास इट हैज बैच ए एंड बैच बी राइट सो द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन बैच ए इज ए एंड द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन बैच बी इज बी और राइट एंड द एवरेज marks of batch a is x and the average marks of batch b is y all right so this is number and this is average marks all right so batch a and batch b all right batch a has total number of students a and batch b has total number of students b average marks for batch a is x and average marks for batch b is y if i ask you what is the average of the whole class including both the batches so From this given information, the formula will be x plus b y upon a plus b. All right, this is the formula for weighted average. So we knew the individual averages for this group and this group and the total number of students for this group and this group. With the help of this, we were able to find the average for the whole class. This is called the weighted average. Now we'll see some important pointers with respect to an average. All right, this will help you solve your questions quickly. so these are the basic pointers on your screen that you must be seeing i want to discuss with you if value of each term in a group increases or for that matter decreases also by x then the average of that group also increases or decreases by x what this means is let's suppose uh, there is a group all right with elements 1 2 3 4 5 five elements are there x1 x2 x3 x5 right so if i decrease each element by a then the average whatever the original average was it will also decrease by this a right if i increase it by this a the average will also totally increase by a right so it has a comprehensive effect on the average apart from that in an ap all right arithmetic progression if the number of terms are odd average is the middle term if the number of terms are even average is the average of the middle terms so for suppose 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is also an ap with a common difference of 1 what would be the average so the middle terms are over here what are the middle terms 3 and hence since it is odd your average is 3 right now if i consider 1 2 3 and 4 right so what would be the average the average would be the addition of this divided by 2 that is the average of 2 and 3 right because the number of terms are even i hope you have understood this these are the most basic terminologies and uh, pointers that you should know with respect to averages now we can straight away jump onto the question and get a taste of how questions are framed on averages let us have a look at the first question the average of 11 numbers is 30 if the average of first six numbers is 17.5 and that of last six numbers is 42.5 then what is the sixth number so basically they have given you the average of 11 numbers right i'll change the ink over here so 11 numbers average is 30 so what would be the sum of those 11 numbers sum of total 11 numbers will be 30 into 11 all right which is 330 all right if the average of first six numbers is 17.5 so what would be the sum of first six numbers it would be 17.5 into 6 All right, so this would come down to be say thirty five by two into six. So two one the two three the this will be hundred and five. Sum of first six numbers is hundred and five, and that of last six is forty two point five. So sum of last six numbers 
is 42.5 so 42.5 into 6 we can write this down as 85 by 2 into 6 which will be equals to 255 2 1 the 2 3 zero, right so this is the sum of uh, total 11 numbers sum of four six numbers is 105 and sum of last six number is 255 so you see if we add this and this there will be a total of 12 numbers but there are only 11 numbers so basically what you need to do is we can find the sixth number by adding the value of first six and last six all right so we add this 105 to 255 and then you subtract this sum of 11 numbers that is 330 this will give you that this will give you the value of that sixth number all right so when you do this calculation you will get the value as 30 which is option number e let us have a look at the second question the average of four consecutive even number is 27 find the largest of this number so basically these are four consecutive even numbers so what are even numbers 2 4 6 8 10 so you see if we consider this as x this is x plus 2 this is x plus 4 this is x plus 6 this is x plus 8 right so we can consider these as our consecutive even numbers so what would be the sum of those consecutive even numbers x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 x plus 6 right four numbers are done all right and this average is 27 so we have just utilized the concept of consecutive even numbers and the formula for average so if we take this four on this side we have 4x plus 12 is equals to 27 four zero. we get 108 and 4x is equals to 96 hence x is equals to 24 all right so what have they asked you the average of 4 so they have asked to the largest of this number so 24 plus 6 that is this number will be the largest that is 30 and so option number b is the correct choice over here let us have a look at question number 3 there are two batches a and b of a class batch a consists of 36 students and batch b consists of 44 students right so a whole class has two batches over here a and b find the average weight of the whole class if average weight of batch A is 40 kg and batch B is 35 kg, so we'll have to use the concept of weighted average over here to find the combined average of the class, right? So over here, how many students are there in batch A? There is 36 students and what are their averages? Their average is 40, right? For batch A, it's 40. Similarly, for batch B, it is 35 and total number of students in batch B is 36, sorry, 44, right? And this becomes the total weight and we'll just divide it by total number of students, which is 36 and 44, all right, 36 plus 44. So after you solve this, you will get 2980 divided by 80, which is 0, 0 gets cancelled and you can solve it easily, 8, 1, 0, 8 3 is right so 5 carry 58 so 8 7 is 56 37 is only in one option so option number d is your correct answer let us have a look at the fourth question the average age of a class of 29 students is 20 years all right so average of 29 students is 20 years so what would be the sum of ages of all 29 students it will be 29 into 20 right which will be equals to 580 years right so this is the sum of a class of 29 students right sum of the age if the age of teacher is included then the average increases by three months all right so now what happens is this 29 students plus one teacher now the new average becomes total 30 right 30 people are there 30 into what is the average the average increases by three months three months means 20 years is the average first so 3 by 12 right 3 by 12 because three months are there we have expressed it in terms of years so three ones are three fours are when you add this up you will get 81 by four years right so this is your new average correct so whatever the difference be between this sum and this sum that would be the age of the teacher right because over here 30 people are there 
ट्वेंटी नाइन स्टूडेंट्स विच वर ओरिजिनली देर प्लस दिस टीचर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देर इज इंक्रीज इन दिस एवरेज ऑफ थ्री मंथ्स राइट सो वॉट एवर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू बी दैट वुड बी द एक्चुअल एज ऑफ अवर टीचर राइट सो वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस राइट दिस टू टू जो टू फिफ्टीन जो यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस यूल गेट इट एज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स राइट एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ दिस एंड दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स विच इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी लेट इज हैव अ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव जॉन्स मार्क वर रॉन्गली एंटर्ड एज एटी थ्री इंस्टेड ऑफ सिक्सटी थ्री सो जॉन स्कोर्ट सिक्सटी थ्री बट इंस्टेड दे वर इंटर्ड एज एटी थ्री सो देर वॉज अ इंक्रीज ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स बाई मिस्टेक इफ द एवरेज मार्क्स कैलकुलेटेड फॉर द होल क्लास इंक्रीज बाय हाफ फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सो दे आर आस्किंग दैट द एवरेज गॉट चेंज बाय हाफ ऑल राइट देन फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सो बेसिकली वॉट विल डू इज विल अज्यूम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास बी एक्स राइट दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एज द एवरेज इंक्रीजेज बाय हाफ तो टोटल इंक्रीज इन मार्क्स फॉर एक्स स्टूडेंट्स शुड बी सो टोटल इंक्रीज इन मार्क्स शुड बी एक्स इन टू हाफ राइट सो दिस इज एक्स बाय टू करेक्ट सो देर फोर वी नो दैट दिस एक्स बाय टू दैट इज टोटल इंक्रीज इन मार्क्स इज ड्यू टू दिस डिफरेंस बिटवीन एटी थ्री एंड सिक्सटी थ्री राइट विच इज एटी थ्री माइनस सिक्सटी थ्री हेंस एक्स बाय टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी हेंस वी कुड फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी ओ वो और राइट सो दिस वॉज अ वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट बट दिस इज द बेस्ट मेटर टू डू दिस जस्ट अज्यूम द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास बी एक्स फाइंड द टोटल इंक्रीज इन द मार्क्स since the average increase by half so for x total number of students the total number of marks should increase by x by 2 right and we just equated it to the difference so that's all in this video please visit us at jkmojo.com thank you